Francesco Matteucci is the program manager at, uh, at the European Innovation Council and SME's executive agency. It's sustainability. It's, uh, it's becoming more and more a buzzword, but we always have to remember that uh, when we speak about sustainability, we think of something that is at the convergence of the economy, environmental and social aspect. So where these three things merge, that's the sustainability. And when we think of some definitions, we have to consider that the definitions are well written when we speak about sustainable development, and well written when we think about the 17 SDGs. So these are the, the, the three ideas, the three concepts that comes to my mind every time I speak of sustainability, trying not to make it too easy because it, it's true that it's a buzzword, but it's not so true that it's so easy. The ecosystem of innovation, what does it mean? It means that when you speak about innovation nowadays, if we make a very rough division of it inside social innovation and technological innovation, and we focus on the technological innovation, what, what we have to consider nowadays is that it's no more possible to work it out working in a closed environment. We have to work in an open environment. We have to be able to let our knowledge flood go away and let the outside knowledge come in. So these exchanges of know-how, it's for sure something that it's really difficult, but it's something that is crucial. Innovation, it's a path, it's a process that starts from an idea and goes to the final product that is coming out from this idea. And this path, includes many things, the R&D part, the business development part, the standardization part, and the market uptake. And along this path or journey, we will meet a lot of actors, a lot of stakeholders, and we have to engage with them. Two main kinds of resources, money and people. We need the right people in the right place, working in a right environment to make the things going on. And on the other side, we, may, we need the right amount of money in the right moment, and we have to be able to manage and spend it properly. And this huge amount of money, if we look once again at innovation at R&D, it's divided in what is called framework program. They normally last in six years. And now we are in the ninth framework program called Horizon Europe. And it goes from 2021 to 2027. It, it will spend 100 billion euros in R&D and innovation activities. It is divided in different pillars and the money is given to R&D centers, to companies, to small medium enterprise companies and corporates, to funding agencies and so to all the ecosystem, and how does it work, this money? This money is, is divided, obviously, in topic, but there is also the possibility to get this money, what is called on bottom-up polls. What does it mean? That the money is given to the best ideas in whatever field it is. And that is this huge program that is called Horizon Europe, the biggest one ever done in the world for the next seven years, these 100 billion euros, it's divided in three, it's called pillars. The first pillar is excellent science, which is his aim to get Nobel prizes, 30 billion for six years. Then we go to the cluster two, to the pillar two, sorry, that is divided in cluster, in thematic clusters, get, give the money to researchers already almost out of the research lab going to, and this money is invested in partnership, divided in topics such as health, energy and environment, you got six of these topics, mobility and so on. And each one of these clusters give the money to partnership made of research centers, companies, funding agencies, national funding agencies and other actors. They cope to bring this technology to a 
to show how it works. Okay, they cooperate to develop once again the innovation. What is said from lab to fab, from laboratories to fabric. Okay, and this is 60 billion euros, the second part. Here you have got the big partnerships. You might have heard in the last days of this acronyms, IPCEI, it's, it is interesting projects of common Europe interest. It means member states and European Commission invest money in certain topic. For example, now it's going on a big deal on batteries. It will go on a big deal on IPCI, on hydrogen and so on. And this is, as I said, huge amount of money giving to develop research activities. Then we go with the pillar three. Pillar three is called Innovative Europe and invests 12 billion euros for six years. Inside this pillar three, there is an agency that is called EIC or ISMIA, where I work, and we work on developing technologies from the idea to the market in what is said deep technologies. What does it mean? To make it easy, it, was, it is the evolution of the science-based technology. So we give money to science-based ideas to scale it up. In this three pillar is, is given through calls, open calls, where you get the topic on where you have to apply for your research, or in some cases there is no topic, there is only the money. You apply with your idea, you are evaluated, and if you win, you are going to implement your project, okay? And once you implement, obviously you have to show to European Commission which are your deliverables, which are your research results, sorry, and how you invest your money. And so they check. Normally, they monitor how the, pro the project is progressing. European Commission helps you in this. European Commission helps in doing a very easy world that combines the two things that I said before. The easy world is an entrepreneur, an innovator, should be ambidextrial. What does it mean? It means that he should be able to focus contemporarily both on the short-term actions and on the long-term vision. It's easy to say, but really difficult to implement. And what can do the European Commission? The European Commission can help you in designing the strategy to become or to improve your capability or to implement your capability of being ambidextrial. And so how it works? It works because people, innovators, ecosystem, what is said, the actors of the ecosystem of innovation, they speak different languages. It's not like French, English, or German. No, it's I speak of R&D, of research. I speak of business. I speak of market. And if you put, for example, to make it easier, if you put Professor Parisi speaking about complex systems, in front of, a, of an entrepreneur with a small medium enterprises developing quantum computers, it will be difficult at the beginning that they speak the same language. Nevertheless, they are both, both Italians. Why? Because Professor Paris is a Nobel Prize. He looked at the development of algorithms. He looked at understanding the laws that is behind the algorithms. He looked, it's very nice to be said in this way, in finding the right math to explain the chaos, okay? On the other side, you've got the entrepreneur. What he wants is to make the quantum technology, the quantum computer, up taken by the market. He wants to sell. So he has to assemble the different parts, but on some way he needs Professor Parisi to explain how this part can be applied. What can I do with your wonderful algorithms and with this small chip that might implement your algorithm? And so, you know, you need someone in the middle. It said normally, it should be an intermediary of knowledge that is able to translate the language of the entrepreneur to the language of the scientist and the opposite way. And in this European Commission is part of the play. We have to take part of this process. We have to be involved. If we want the things to happen, we have to start doing things. If you want to be part of the change, you have to be that's first thing, changing things. Because there is a normal, it's called adversion of human being to change. And we have to overcome this. We have to understand that we have to manage the process. We have to design the process. 
to make things work using Europe as a basement, we have to start thinking once again in an ambidextrial way. We have to study to make this. We have to change our mentality. We have to manage the design process, the strategic process since the beginning. Obviously, we will change it, but we have to design. We have to look at the vision. European Green Deal, it's a big boost, not only for Europe, but for the whole world. We, are able, we could be able, we should be able to make the European Green Deal become the boost of the world economy in terms of greening the world, not on greenwashing, but really on thinking in a different way. The ecosystem of innovation for sustainability, it's the future. There will be millions of jobs here, and we have all to develop our own culture and to share our culture to make it happen. Thank you.